What's going on, everyone? It's your boy, Full Shocker, the 96 Hedgehog here. Let me do that so the audio is actually recording. And stuff like that. But we are here going against Mega Auction Week 2. It's kind of been delayed. Big up. Mega had, unfortunately, had a lot of IRL stuff and work getting involved with him right now, which is all good. We're all set. And we're hopefully going to have a good matchup here. So, with that being said, okay, I was just in, looking at a text on my mom sent me. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. If you guys are excited, leave a like, give it a race, subscribe if you're new, join the Full Shocker crew today. We should be filling with a good crew, filling with the king of the crew. Thank you all for support for week one. I know week one wasn't exactly the best week one you could have ever seen from a first ever showdown live upload required league type of thing. But the support, regardless, was very much appreciated, and I really loved everyone's really nice comments. It was very, very supportive, and I really do thank you for the bottom of my heart for those type of comments. So with that being said, my mom was just a text. Oh, it was not my mom. It was just a stupid text. All right. So I have now sent the challenge to Mega. I'm nervous, man. We really need to get a victory here. Actually, let me just make sure. I'm surprised he didn't bring his Wombom on. He did not bring his Wombom on. So, he... He didn't bring Gastrod on! Oh, that's huge! So, he brought Heatran, which is a slight problem, but not exactly a slight problem. Wow, and then he brought Crook, which I'm a little surprised he brought, but it kind of makes sense. So, wow, Dakota Kai looks really good here. My ACDC looks extremely good in this matchup. Like an agility off, I'm really looking pretty here. My Vaporeon looks really good in this matchup. X, like, there's no switching to X-Blood, really, on this team. You know? I'm so glad I put Focus Blast on the set. And physical... Physical here is about to go off. Actually, I'm going to lead off with Ben 10 here. Worst thing he leads off is with... Crook. He does lead off with Crook. Let's look at the speed here. Crookodile. If he's a standard set... Caps out at 311 speed. 252 speed. He may outspeed me. Knockoff's unfortunate, but it's not end of the world. I'm just gonna arrows. I don't mind getting damage off. Nineteen percent. Minus one. Uh he is defensive. Yeah, that's like a that is definitely a defensive crocodile. Uh I think I'm just gonna toss up a toxic here. He does get rocks up, which is very unfortunate there. Um I want to go sub here. Or do I toxic here? I could also click protect. Or protect. No. He's already faster than me. I'm a sub. War. I thought it was here. Nice. And now I see bomb. 
Or can... No, I have to see bomb here. I'm pretty sure this kills Crook if it's max HP. Uh, this 40... Actually, Heavy Slam has a better chance of killing here, so I'm actually going for Heavy Slam. It did not kill. That sucks. Well, Crook's gone now, so his Dark Typing is gone. That sucks, though. So let's see, that did 40%. He's... Oh, he's, oh, he's gotta be like fully... Yeah, he's gotta be like fully... Pretty much near Fizz death. I won't be pouring on here. It does do a wing beat. 20, 40. I'm gonna throw up a wish here. I won't lie. So Zygar gets his first kill of the matchup here. Man, if we could have gotten a higher roll on that. That would have been really nice. He actually brings in the Latios, which is very interesting. Latios. Let's say a Scarf set versus a Orion. Draco is doing it maximum 50%, so if that is a be Scarf. I'm going to protect here. See what he does here. He Thunderbolts, okay. So I got Toxic off here. That did 59%. He's Life Orb. Okay. He's either going to go for the Psychic move or he's going to go for the Dragon move here. What's my best play here? I'm gonna protect to see what he does here. Now I could just he could he could read the protect here. He does okay. Thunderbolts. Timid. He's gotta be timid. He can't be anything else. Life Orb, Thunderbolt, Timid, before you just 55 to 65%. I'm actually right outside of range, which is very unfortunate. Uh, to my Thunderous, a Psychic does hurt. But again, if he Thunderbolt, it's not the end of the world. I'm gonna risk it and bring in my Thunderous. Oh, hmm. Actually, I don't know how I feel about that. Serena. If he's running max speed... Let's think about this here. I kind of want to see if he's running speed on this thing. I'm not going to lie. He would have to run pretty much near max speed, though. Come oh, on, Dark Holes. So he's not running speed. That does 45%. He gets you turn. Okay. Forty-five. It could have been a max roll, or he could just be assault vested. If he's assault vested, that should not have done as much damage as he did. So I think he's HP have good, good chunk of the HP invested. I think this is where I go, Ben Ten. I think I sack Ben here. I really don't want to. Ice Fang. That was a good prediction. I 
think this is where I go right back into my Celesteela here. Mega, Aerodactyl, Offensive, Adamant. My Celesteela takes 53 at maximum. It's a coin toss, dude. He last landed. I think this is my best play here. Because he could switch. If I were him, I'd definitely switch. Because this is one of his only best answers to killing Mega Medicham right now. He went for it. I, oh my god, I landed. Wait, am I out of speed? Oh, I was calculating with Adamant. He's jolly. He's 100% jolly then. Because I, I guarantee he lived that hit then. Oh no, do I outspeed this? I do, and Heavy Slam is going to kill. Things if I Heavy Slam and get the Flame Body Burn, that would suck. I want for Heavy Slam. This is such a risky play. I have to attack what's in front of me here. Now, obviously, if he has a Rocky Helmet, it's a different story, right? It's a different story if I, he's got a Rocky Helmet, right? If he has a Rocky Helmet, then it's just a Rocky Helmet kill. There's nothing I can do about it. There's two things he can do here. He could stay in, not think that I'm faster than his Aerodactyl, which I'm guaranteeing him. Jolly max speed hits 438. I hit 440 with my Autotomize. If he lets this drop, we have a chance to win the game here. Potentially. But that Mianxiao most likely is screaming choice scarf to me by the fact that he hasn't bought it. Alright, please, please, Sully, please, Sully, please, Sully, please, Sully, please, Sully. Yes! Awesome. If this E turns max HP, it, it is a, not a guarantee, but this basically gets a good KO. Oh no! Now it's back. Now it's mind games. Oh. It's mind games now with this set, man. Oh, it's going to be mind games with this. I want an earthquake. Oh, this is where the mind games are going to come into play here, dude. I think he knows I'm clicking Earthquake here again. I really want to make the prediction here. I really want to make the prediction, but if I... If it... Because, if, like, there's a part of him that thinks that... He's going... That I'm going to 100%. 100% click Earthquake here again. And even if he brings Latios... Again... Actually, he's at 73%. Which means he'll be, he technically would be put in right in range of Heavy Slam. One Earthquake. We do get the prediction right. He's gonna whisk. Kill me there. That's fine. I go ACDC here. And I'm clicking Agility. Uh, I, th I just missed play. I just misplayed. Uh, that sucks. I should have just attacked. Why'd I do that? Oh my god. Thunderbolt guaranteed killed if he was maxi. Oh, that's the wrong thing I'm looking at. Yeah, I should have just attacked. That was a misplay right there. I don't know why I did that. I really should have thought that up. So, Boom Burst does 20 to 24. I have to focus. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. He's still in range of this. x -Plot, I really need you to hit this hit here, buddy. Actually, can a Magma Storm break? It does. x -Plot, I really need you to hit this, buddy. Now he just protects. And now it comes down to clicking Focus Blast or Boom Burst here. I have to click Focus Blast. 
Yeah, we're gonna get five or four out here, guys. Oh my god, it's so annoying. I mean, I blame myself for the Thunderous play right there. I should have 100% clicked Thunderbolt here. Thunder right there, knowing he was gonna sack that. But yeah, as you can see right there, me not doing that right there cost me right there. So now I have to go into this thing here. I have to sub, it's my only chance. I need him to miss a Magma Storm. Now you gotta play to God, I don't get flame bodied here. Awesome. Okay. Wait, he went in Mega Arrow. Mega Arrow. Offensively. Wait a minute. Dual Wing B. It's gonna do half. I think I can live that. Wait, I'm looking at the wrong one. Come on. There could be a chance I live this. There could be a chance I live this. I have to play for a crit, though. Do I go for the crit with Zen Headbutt or the crit with Drain Punch? That's my only play, though. Either one kills. I Drain Punch. There could be a chance I could live this hit. There is. Do I get the crit? I don't get the crit. Okay, okay, okay. There's... We're gonna keep fighting. Actually, on the off chance, I'm going to click Wish. Because he could switch out, and he could miss to a wing beat. He has Roost. Wait, why? We burn Serena. There we go. Oh my god, we are in this game. We are back in this game, guys. We are back in this game somehow. If he U-turns here, that could possibly also be he synthesis. He synthesis. He synthesis. He synthesis. Oh my god, guys, we have a shot here. You didn't break my sub! Alright, so Drain Punch. Let's look at that. Oh my god, there's a chance we could have gone back in this game right now because of that miss. And if it is and we have a chance to come back from that, I am extremely sorry. So 66%. That's roughly max HP. That's roughly max HP. He's at 84. I go for Draymond Jose. He could miss dual wing beat again. So I love that. So I do 52% maximum to me here. All right. Now I need to think this play out here. This play could give us the game. Possibly. Not guaranteed, but possibly. There's two plays he can do here. Oh, the dual wing beat. How much of that did originally to Vaporeon? Does around 14.9%. So dual wing beat, 100% kills here. But what he could do is know that I'm going to go right into my... Or do I have to play for the miss? I think I lose this game regardless, but I think I have to do something here. Actually, yeah, I think regardless I lose this game because of the fact that... I think regardless I do lose this game because regardless Latios just kills me. So I think it doesn't matter what I do here. I'm going to Drain Punch. Oh, I haven't even been doing this yet. Hold on. Alright, so, okay. 
Let's think about this. I'm pretty sure Latios just kills me, though. I'm pretty positive Latios just kills me. Psychic is a roll to kill me. Draco 100% kills me. On the off chance, he's got Dragon Pulse. Okay, really? Dragon Pulse. That is a roll to kill me. I'm going to Mystic here. On the off chance, he Dracos. He does Psychic. Okay, that's game. Ah, uh, jeez. That sucks, man. We could have. We were so close. We really were. Crit didn't matter there. I think me missing the... I think what definitely played a big factor into this matchup is I could have kept x Blout extremely healthy in this one. And you know what was funny? I said this to myself. Um, we're going to be waiting to play this game, and I'm going to end up losing this game because we wait so long. That was kind of right. But some things I did in this match that I think I should have done. Uh, I should have Toxic turned one instead of going for 1,000 arrows, potentially. Uh, I should have potentially had set up a substitute to force him to break the sub and then get damage, potentially. Uh, I think with a Celesteela set, I don't think I did anything really wrong with that one. We got the prediction of staying in right there and going for that. We got so lucky not to get Flash Fire, like, you get the uh, Flame Body Burn there. We got all extremely lucky not to get that burn, which was massively big. Um, Vaporeon put on such great... Those misses, dude, those misses played a big factor because they definitely could have helped, had us win the game right there, 100%. Um, I think... Definitely, I think the biggest misplay in this matchup was not keeping uh, x Cloud healthy because if we go to x Cloud here... Uh, unless he Draco Meteor me, he doesn't kill me. And if he Psychics me, I live. So what I think I should have done was just click Thunderbolt. I should have 100% just clicked Thunderbolt right there. Because I would have been able just to kill the Heatran. I There was no resist on his team. And even if he goes back in Serena, I'm pretty much sure I guaranteed to get the knockout there. Oh, I think a part of me should have just bulked up instead of subbing in front of Serena. Because if I bulked up... I mean, he also played some risks, too, because I could have had Bullet Punch. But I think the fact that he saw me switch out... I mean, for the fact that I switched out, I mean, there's got to be a reason why I swapped out. I oh, oh, mean, I knew not putting Bullet Punch on there was going to cost me there. I feel like I should have put it on there, but I didn't see a real reason not to. In all honesty, but I probably should have just known that was a Mega Aerodactyl. But oh, it's going to bite me a little bit there, but it's my fault, though. I think, again, the biggest misplay of this matchup here was me not clicking Thunderbolt with Thunderous. If I had just clicked Thunderbolt there, x Blood's literally healthy, and x Blood gets rid of Latios. Um, then I'm pretty sure Mega Medicham just beats the last two. 100%. So I think we easily could have won this game. Uh, I think just going for the agility with Thunderous 100% cost us the game right there. Which, you know, I'm going to definitely take on that one. That was definitely my fault. But you know what? Um, If I had won this game because of those misses that he got, I definitely would have felt extremely bad. 100% would have felt bad. But you know what? You know, at least I took something from this battle from just really playing out the turns back in my head. I really should not have just went for the setup there. I was also low on health. So, and he was also low. I don't know why I did what I did there. I guess I was banking on a miss potentially, but I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gone for my kill and I would have been good right there. And then I could have potentially went into x Blood or Vaporeon for free, click Protect potentially and get Leftovers Recovery back and then go for a Scald potentially. So, but... It is what it is, you know. I'm not. I'm gonna be feeling a little upset by this because I knew I could have potentially had won the game if I had just did that, and also if I did prep a little bit better and actually went with the bullet punch. Because if I had went with bullet punch, that Aerodactyl was dead, 100. percent Every at 100, percent it was dead to rights. And I guess he definitely felt comfortable enough knowing that I probably was gonna bring it because there was probably some more reasons to bring it because he didn't click too well against his team, which definitely made a lot of sense, but. That is unfortunate, and so we're going to start off the season 0-2 with a minus 9 
Uh, it's definitely not the greatest start I've wanted, and it's kind of going to be a tough situation now because if we lose next week, we kind of have to win out with a good differential to have any chances of winning. But if we w but if we win out, we have a shot to make the playoffs. If we win out for the rest of the season, we're guaranteed playoffs, 100%. If we lose, it's literally a coin toss because of differential, and that sucks, bro. It's going to be the game of the And anyways, you know, I'm having fun. This is a fun season. This is a fun league. Um, I did make transactions, however, but with the way the league wanted to do the uh, type of formatting, those transactions are only done two weeks in advance. So in week three, you will not see the transactions, but in week four, you will see the transactions. I actually am going to make a transaction video going into detail why I made the transactions that I did. But again, I will talk about that in the transactions video itself but next week though we take on lord halu he is actually though i believe one of the main commissioners of this league itself and he's got a very scary team but next week though i'm bringing some fuego heat right now i'm telling you right now two of my mons i'm bringing the sauce i am bringing some spice i am bringing some of that sugar and spice everything nice but you guys will see that for next week but if you guys are curious about the team Pokepaste will be down below, and if you ever want questions about what the team was, let me know in the comments section below. I don't mind interacting with all of you, because all of you are great people. But yeah. Sorry the brain rolling on the video there, but yeah. GG's though to Osh. Hopefully everything goes well for the rest of the season. Hopefully he won't be able to have to worry about dealing with his life, life stuff, and then with scheduling, because he's like, he is a massive headache as someone who worked five days in a week, wrote last week, and then had to play some of my games throughout the week. It's definitely a hassle, so I hope nothing but the best for him, but yeah. GG's to him again. Thank you all so much for watching. Links to all the coaches will be down in the description down below. But with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.